My family, Lady Glen Connor, who is 91 years old, has attacked Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, the mother of Prince Harry's children, saying that Meghan thought that royal life would be like being a film star. My family, and the one thing that comes to my mind is why do individuals think that somehow they can read Megan's mind? My family, I mean, show me one video, one clip, one comment from Megan that implied that she thought that being in the royal family would be like being a film star. Show me where Megan has said that. Show me where. Please kindly show me where Megan has said that stuff. Never. Megan has never ever said any of that stuff. Which means this person, Lady Glenn Connor, who is 91 years old, instead of enjoying her retirement, she's busy abusing Megan to make money, to get some attention, to gain some relevancy, to be spoken about, instead of enjoying her retirement. She's abusing a woman who is living in California, in Montecito, living her life, minding her business, working to put food on the table for her children. That's who Lady Glen Connor is going after. My family, Prince Harry said something very important about people who were around the Queen. Because we are being told that this woman my family was a woman who was a friend to Queen Elizabeth II. And my family, Harry told us about these people around the Queen. They saw themselves as being even more powerful than the Queen. They thought of themselves as the monarch. That's how they thought of themselves as, as the monarch. You know? Harry told us of how courtiers would lie to the queen right as he, Harry, was even watching, standing there and watching as my family, they would lie to the queen about Prince Harry himself. You know? About Harry's pleas for funding, you know, to get a good communication team. That way, they can be able to Fight the lies that are being spread about Harry Meghan by the UK tabloid press. And courtiers would not help out Harry Meghan. They would not. When Harry would tell that to the Queen, courtiers said that, you know what? You know, Prince Harry, it's like he isn't telling the truth. That's what they did. That's what they did right in front of of the queen because they they saw themselves as the ones who are more powerful than the queen you know that's how they saw themselves and my family i can see this person who calls herself a friend of the queen of the late queen elizabeth ii also views herself as someone who my family is even more and more powerful than even the queen herself. That's why she's going after a woman who my family married into the royal family, married Prince Harry. My family, there is something that Meghan said in the Cut Magazine interview that I find very, very important. My family, there is something that Megan said in the Cut Magazine interview that gives you an insight, my family, into why Megan even married Prince Harry. 
My family hear what Megan said because we have to correct and expose how these individuals, like this so-called lady, Glenn Connor, how they are lying about Meghan Markle. And they are targeting Meghan Markle to continue with this hate campaign against Meghan, all because a woman of color fell in love with a white prince whom they see as their own personal property, whom they can't stand seeing thriving outside of the UK, outside of Britain, no matter what they've thrown at Harry Meghan. And my family also, what you can also see from what is being said in my family right now is that still, Megan continues to be targeted by the farm and racist individuals who can't stand seeing that Megan Omar of Color is married to Prince Harry and that she and Harry have children, Archie and Lilibet Dana, and that they live in California. My family, please clearly hear what Megan said in the cut magazine interview that she did, my family. And I quote, fans watched as she Megan attended events with her suits castmates and charity galas, nights out at Soul House in London and Toronto. Megan ran that Instagram account for years before she met Prince Harry. But on the heels of their engagement, control over Instagram was just one of the things, along with the TIG, her passport, and the freedom to open her own mail that she gave up. And Megan said she loved sharing her life with people, but she loved Prince Harry more. It was a big adjustment. A huge adjustment to go from that kind of autonomy to a different life, said Megan. Megan gave up what she loved because she fell in love with Prince Harry. She says she loves Harry more. And my family, when she and Harry, first of all, you know, it became public that she and Harry were dating. Don't forget, within days of Harry and Meghan's relationship becoming public, Harry had to issue a statement condemning racism against his then girlfriend Meghan. But my family, you won't hear from Lady Glenn Corner that you know what? You know, Megan was racially abused and that's why she left. The reason she's giving why Megan left the UK, why Megan fled Britain is that Megan, you know, thought that she would just be riding around in a golden coach and everything like that. That's the reason she gives us why Megan fled Britain. But she never mentions the racism. She never mentions the abuse towards Megan Markle and even these constant attacks towards Megan. She never ever mentions that. Never. You never hear it. She never ever mentions that one bit. One bit. She never ever mentions or talks about that even one bit. She does not. My family. You know? And I have always said this, that there will be so many reasons that people who participated and still are participating in the abuse of Meghan Markle will give as to why Meghan fled Britain. But never, ever, Will they ever mention their abuse and racism towards Megan that clearly continues even to this day? I mean, my family, it's been three years, actually more than three years, after Harry and Megan fled Britain. You would think that some individuals would come to terms with the fact that, you know what? Megan 
left. Harry left. But still, they seem to have a problem being able to accept the prince Harry chose and he chose the mother of his children. He chose his wife. And my family, Harry refused to choose following William and Kate around. He refused to be forced into abandoning his wife Megan and his kids. Because still, they are calling for that to happen. Calling for Prince Harry to abandon the mother of his kids, his wife and his kids to go back to the UK and follow Prince William around. To be the third wheel. The scapegoat for the farm. That way, royal experts, tabloids can have drama, stories to write, to create. They want to exploit him, my family. And they believe that if they can abuse Megan out of Harry's life, Harry will have nowhere to go to but to go back to Britain and follow William and Kate around. Go back to Charles. William, Kate, Camilla, and on his knees with a tail between his legs, begging them to take him back. Well, by now, he'll be forced to work with Daily Mail, the Sun Tablet, the Mirror, the Express, all tabloids that my family have made his life a living hell. My family. And that is what they are calling for to happen. My family May it never ever happen. My family, here is what Lady Glencona says. My family, while speaking on the on a podcast, here's what she said. I think the thing about Megan was she had no idea what was expected of Harry Lee. My family, Megan was perfect. She was so so perfect. Megan was so so perfect. Now my family, she was told to be 50% of herself. Lady Glycona is lying. Megan did everything as she was told. Even things that my family were clearly meant to hurt Megan. She did it anyway. For example, how she was told to remove her name from her son's birth certificate. Megan did that on orders from the palace. And then years later, what she did, what she was ordered to do, was used against her. Megan did everything as she was told to do. Everything. And despite what she did, still, she was attacked. Still, Megan was abused. Still, Megan was hounded. My family, even the articles between pitting Kate versus Megan, Megan versus Kate Milton. My family, you have seen how those articles for my family, written in favor of Kate Milton. For example, Kate cradles her baby bump. Oh, how nice. What an amazing mother. Megan crawling her baby bump. Why is she touching her belly so much? Why? Why is she touching her baby bump? Why? Why? Is it pride? Vanity? Of a kind of stories, my family, that Harry even spoke about in the Harry and Megan documentary. Saying it's okay for Kate to eat an avocado while pregnant, but for Megan, not okay. Prince Harry told us, he said so himself, if you can't see why they were doing what they were doing, then I can't help you. And despite all of that, still, you are having Lady Glencona come up with other reasons, other excuses as to why Megan fled Britain, as to why Megan did not fit in in the royal family. My family, we all know why the royal family refused to accept Meghan Markle. Mainly because of her race. Then about jealousy. Meghan's star power, you know, her and Harry, their star power was immense. Is immense. My family is immense. And the royal family, King Charles, William, Kate, Camilla, were jealous of the attention that Harry and Meghan were receiving from the media. And one wonder they tried so hard to destroy what Harry and Meghan have. And still are trying this day to destroy what Harry and Meghan have. Because they hope if they can do that, my family, they can dim 
Harry and Meghan's star power by destroying their love, by destroying their marriage, my family. No wonder they keep trying. And guess who they continue to target? The main target, Meghan Markle. Still, after three years, more than three years after Meghan Fred Britain, still, she's been targeted. And they're making up excuses as to why Meghan fled Britain, my family. Meghan did everything so perfectly. Everything so good. And none of it was good enough. Because my family, they saw her race. And they could not accept Meghan Markle because of her race. And my family, that is the main reason. My family, also kindly please hear what this so-called Lady Glen Connor said. Because my family, according to her, she can read Megan's mind. She has the power of telepathy. Oh, but she can read Megan's mind to the point that she knows exactly what Megan is thinking. And according to her, she believes that there are other reasons as to why Megan fled Britain. According to Lady Glen Connor. And she won't mention the abuse of the UK media, the abuse from senior members of the family towards Megan Markle and Harry himself. She won't talk about that because she believes, like other currents, that somehow Megan and Harry should have just put up with the abuse. My family, hear what she also said. I think that Megan just thought that it was sort of like being another actress, you know, riding around in a golden coach and everything like that and actually being a member of the royal family a lot of it is extremely boring and that lady glen connor said the members of the royal family are expected to meet thousands of people and to say something interesting and nice to each person that's what lady glen connor said my family Megan did everything. She did everything right. She raised money for charities. You know? She touched the lives of so many people. Even, even the women, for example, of Grenfell. Are so thankful because of what Megan did. Even the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, he said, I have, and I quote his words, I have been to Grenfell for many, many times. But ever since Megan set foot in Grenfell and helped the women in Grenfell. Only then did he see impact. She truly touched the lives of the women in Grenfell. That is from the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. His words about Meghan. His words about Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. So Meghan did a lot of things. She touched lives. But sometimes, my family, sometimes really, when you are in a racist institution, nothing that you'll ever do will ever be good enough. Nothing you ever do will ever be good enough. And that's why, no matter how Megan worked so hard, no matter what Megan did, none of it was good enough to the UK tablet press. None of it was good enough to Charles, William, Kate Camilla, who clearly wanted her out. And they worked hand in hand with the UK tablet press, trying to bully Meghan out of Prince Harry's life. And my family, thank goodness that they failed. My family, also kindly please hear what is being said my family. And that my family also, Lady Glen Connor says this, that she sat next to American politician, John Kerry, and asked him a question. What do you think in America about Harry Meghan? You know, imagine you are in King Charles' coronation. And then you're asking an American politician, what do you think about Harry and Meghan? Just imagine that. My family, you are in 
King Charles coronation. And you're thinking about people who don't live in Britain. About Meghan, who never even came to King Charles coronation. And my family, some people still wonder, you know, why is it? Do UK media can't even focus on Charles William Kate Camilla. Yet, when even when it's King Charles coronation, one of the biggest events for the monarch, King Charles, probably in his entire life, my family, one of the most important events ever in Charles' life, and some individuals are thinking about Harry Meghan. Then they wonder why Charles is jealous. Then they wonder why William is jealous. You know, my family, and I have seen this problem constantly, whereby even you have hate accounts who call themselves royalists who are supporting Charles, William, Kate Camilla. And then they don't even focus on William, Kate, Charles, Camilla. Their content is focused on just hating on Harry Meghan. I mean, my family, I'm like, seriously? You call yourself a fan of William K. Charles Camilla, but your whole content is focused on hating on Harry Meghan. You know? My family, tech companies and social media companies need to do something about this online hate. They need to do something about my family. They need to. So my family, Lady Gelcona asked John Kerry, what do you think in America about Harry Meghan? And he said, we all feel very, very sorry for Harry. I think I can just leave it at that. And my family, the interpretation of this is that somehow these individuals are trying to frame what apparently, allegedly, John Kerry said as being that they are sorry for Harry. But not, you know, towards Megan because here they only mention Harry. And my family, basically my family, let me kindly just say this. First of all, Prince Harry, for a very, very long time, he has said he has never ever liked the British press. And that is one of the reasons as to why my family, even Harry, said that, you know what, I much rather be in Afghanistan anywhere else but be away from the UK tablet press. Being away from people like Lady Glen Corner. My family dedicate their time, even if they should be enjoying their retirement, they are focused on going after the mother of Harry's kids, then they wonder why Harry left. Then they want to claim that, you know what? We feel sorry for Prince Harry. My family, I feel sorry for Prince Harry myself. And do you know why? Because for a long time in his life, he has had to deal with these individuals. My family can't stand seeing Harry happy. Can't stand seeing Harry being a father, being a husband, to Megan, who can't say that Prince Harry, my family, is protecting his family on the racist UK media and people who are inciting hate against Megan, Archie, and Lilibet Diana. People like Lady Glen Corner. My family, they can't stand seeing Megan happy. They can't stand seeing Prince Harry happy, thriving, living in a mansion in Montecito. My family, I can't even begin to say how many times I've had carnival or so-called experts complaining about the number of bathrooms, you know, that Harry Meghan have in Montes to my family. So many times, because that was never supposed to be Harry's fate, you know? Harry's fate was supposed to be just like the other spares, like Margaret, like Andrew, miserable, destroyed out of public, you know, view. 
out of the public eye. That was to be the fate of Prince Harry. And ever since Harry chose a different fate when he fled Britain, taking Meghan Archie with him, ever since then, you have had some people being so upset, pissed off, because Harry chose a different fate. Even right now, they have been trying so hard to pit Harry against Meghan, Meghan against Harry, to try and my family destroy what Harry and Meghan have, hoping that Prince Harry will come back to this fate. That if they can destroy his marriage, Harry will come back to this fate of loneliness out of public, out of the public eye, miserable, lonely, and depending on Charles and William for money. They are so desperate for Harry to have that fate. No wonder they keep going after Meghan Markle. No wonder even my family have belief. That rumor, you know, behind the scene that Meghan is working on a big commercial venture is enough to scare the carnival of so-called experts because that ain't the life they wanted for Harry. Despair always gets divorced from Margaret to Andrew. The same thing is what they're hoping will happen to Prince Harry. That way Harry's fate can return, you know, on cause. A fate of misery, a fate of unhappiness. That's why they are so desperate to imply Harry is going to come back to the UK. Harry wants a place in the UK and Meghan is against that. Because they know, my family, that ever since Harry met Meghan, his life has improved. You know, he was living in a shack. Now he lives in a mansion in Montecito, my family. And the carnival of so-called experts, they can't be able to stand seeing Harry having the life he is now. That's why they keep targeting the mother of his kids. His wife Meghan. His wife Meghan. Hoping that still they can abuse Megan out of Harry's life. My family, I hope that they never ever succeed. But clearly, they keep trying. My family, they keep trying to destroy what Harry and Megan have together. They're married, they love for each other. And my family, I do hope that they never ever succeed in destroying what Harry and Megan have for each other. Their love. And uh, my family, basically, John Kerry, his spokesperson, has responded to what Lady Glencona said. My family, first of all, he did not say why he felt sorry for Prince Harry. But a spokesperson refuted any suggestion that he was commenting on Harry and Meghan's marriage. Because my family... That is what they want to attack. That is what they want to destroy. Harry and Meghan's marriage. You know? They want people to view this marriage as a problem. And that the only solution is a divorce. Because guess what? Again, that is the fate of the spare. The spare must be divorced, single, unhappy, out of public you know, life, and begging on Charles and William for money. Not making millions in California. Like what, you know, Harry and Meghan are doing right now, my family. They can't be able to stand that. You know? And my family, I have always said this. If there's one thing that can help Harry and Meghan so much, that even fears, that even makes UK media so afraid, is... Harry and Meghan making more money than they already have. Money. Making so much money. My family. You know, gaining even more and more influence is what will help Harry and Meghan a lot. Now my family also, a spokesperson for the State Department said this, that John Kerry Secretary Kerry does not remember being asked that question 
But as a father in the public eye himself, he has nothing but empathy for people working through a family matter who all deserve privacy and compassion. That is what John Kerry has said in response to what Lady Glencona has said. My family, they want people to view Harry Megas marriage as a problem. And the divorce is the only solution. Because that is the fate. The Prince Harry, the spare, was always supposed to have. Divorce. Like what's happened to Margaret? Like Andrew? Same thing also. They still want to happen to Prince Harry. That's why they keep targeting the mother of Harry's kids. Harry's wife and family. Hoping that they can destroy what Harry and Meghan have. Their marriage. My family, I hope that UK media never ever succeed. Now my family, <sighs> Prince Harry and Meghan, their names, it feeds so many people. So, so many people make money off of Harry and Meghan. So many people, so many people. My family, so many people, so many people make money off of Prince Harry Meghan, and that's a fact. It's the truth and nothing but the truth. That's why even hate accounts, even though they call themselves royalists, fans of Charles, William, Kate Camilla, their content doesn't fully focus on William, K. Charles, Camilla. It focuses on, sadly, hateful content about Harry Meghan. Harry and Meghan feeds so many people. So many people. Their names. It feeds so many people. And people from the media. Royal experts. They want. To keep feeding. Off of Harry and Meghan. I mean even a few days ago. I spoke of this person called. You know. What's her name? This. You know. Woman. Her name is. If I'm not mistaken. Let me just look at her name. My family. Her name is Tessa Dunlop. She said that Prince Harry should come to the UK for Christmas because she wants tensions, drama, to make money. To make money off of him. You know? She doesn't care about Harry and Meghan having a good Christmas because she wants to make money off of Harry and Meghan. That is what she wants. And my family, we are seeing media outlets do everything in their power also to go after Harry and Meghan with the hopes that they can put so much pressure onto Harry and Meghan's marriage. The people can see Harry and Meghan's marriage as being a problem and that the only solution is divorce. My family, may they never ever succeed in this evil place against Harry and Meghan. May they never ever succeed. And my family, based on even the language used really, on what John Kerry has said himself. He has nothing but empathy for people working through a family matter who all deserve privacy and compassion. That's what he said. And my family, and that any suggestion that he was commenting on Harry Baker's marriage was false. Some people want to be entertained so much by having Harry in the UK, having him following William and Kate Arome family, that they're willing to keep going after Harry and Meghan, hoping that they can destroy his marriage, hoping that some way, somehow, if they succeed, Harry will have nowhere to go to but to return to the arms of his abusers who want to continue abusing him. My family, it will not work. It will not work. It will not work. My family, Lady Glencona knows nothing about Megan. And also, she does not speak for Americans. She doesn't. And my family, as you can see, still, they're so bitter because Harry fled Britain. And that they're left with dull, boring royals. Whereby UK media are calling for Harry to return, are demanding that Harry comes back. Why? Because as Tessa Dunlop said, she wants drama, stories. 
to make the whole family interesting. Some drama, some, some tensions. You know, that's what she wants. My family, Prince Harry, will not come for that. Even Perez Hilton, even, I remember what he also said, really. He wants Harry in the UK because he wants stories, drama. And that's why they keep going after Harry and Meghan's marriage, to try and destroy it. Don't people in their subconscious to view Harry and Meghan's marriage as a problem, that they are not good for each other, and yet Harry is in love with Meghan, and Meghan is in love with Prince Harry, and they have two kids, and sadly, they lost one child. My family, all because they want Harry back to be detained. My family, to Harry and Meghan, please keep fighting for your love. Keep fighting for your love. And never let anyone destroy your love and also your marriage. Don't let them destroy that because that's what they want to achieve, to destroy what you have. Don't allow it. Don't allow it to happen. Please do not. Do not allow it to happen. Don't. My family, don't. Prince Harry and Meghan, don't allow that to happen. Fight for your love, always and forever. And protect each other. Fight for your marriage, always and forever. Protect your love, always and forever. And don't let anyone destroy what both of you have. Don't. Don't. Because clearly, the media is hell-bent on destroying what you have. Because I want to see Prince Harry performing in the, in the UK, in Britain, whining and dining with his abusers, being miserable, unhappy and lonely. My family, may they never ever succeed in their evil plus against Prince Harry and Meghan. My family, now you tell me about what we have just discussed currently. I like to hear your opinion, my family. May God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lebanon, and Doria, Raglan, and all of you members of God at home. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to this video. Love you all and forever, and may God bless you all, my family. You know? My family, it's high time that these people understand that Harry chose, and he chose his wife and kids, and it's high time that they come to terms with that. It's high time. They have tried so hard to destroy Harry Megan's marriage, and they have failed. And it's high time they come to get this into their head. Abuse Dove Harry and Meghan away. Abuse will not bring Harry and Meghan back. Abuse drove Harry and Meghan away. Harry said himself, he saw what was happening, the bullying, the abuse of Meghan. He saw what was happening and then he made a decision to take Meghan, Archie, Lilibet away from the UK. Abuse or going after Meghan won't bring Harry back to Britain. It won't. It won't. It won't. And Lady Gagona cannot read Megan's mind. I believe I have said enough, my family. You tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed, my family. I like to hear your opinion, my family. You know? My family, I'm sorry to Harry Megan for what they've had to deal with. Abusers. Harry has had to watch his son and the woman he loves being disrespected constantly. I'm sorry, Prince Harry. And my family, I believe, this attacks, this abuse will not make Harry come back to the UK. It will make Harry avoid the UK completely. And it's high time the carnival or so-called let understand them, family understand that because how can you say that harry wants to come back to britain buy a place in the uk while you are abusing his wife megan markle and then be like megan is against that as you abuse megan markle abuse drove harry and megan away from the uk abuse won't bring them back to britain and it's high time that some individuals understand that stay tuned to our next video Love you all and forever, and may God bless you all, my family. And what God has put together, Harry and Meghan, let no man, let no woman ever separate. Keep praying for Harry and Meghan. And Harry and Meghan's love and their marriage, because that is what the media wants so hard to destroy.
And Lady Lincona should enjoy her retirement and keep Megan's name out of her mouth. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you all the forever. Stop whinging and mourning about Anna Megan. They live in California. In California. And they ain't coming back to abuse. Love you, my family, always and forever. And stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.